So, um, so I'm going to talk, how would I respond to someone who is, you know, in a lot of negativity or is mentally ill and there's, um, uh, and, um, and even if I do respond, usually it's taken in the wrong way. So how would I, and for me, it's like, you know, if it was something like a partner, you know, for me, there have been, um, and this is my own experience, as, which especially happened with my mother, was I sort of saw it, I mean, I do go to 12 steps groups and, and they say we have, you know, I mean, I, I do believe it's a mystical thing. You know, as soon as um, uh, we have no opinions on opinions on outside issues, it means the thing of like, it's kind of like spiritual tactics of, you know, not um, not giving another person who's in a negative place any sort of ammo or data that 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 they can use to to start um, you know uh, an argument or a confrontation or to perceive it in the wrong way. And sometimes I know with my mother, she, it would always be if I said something, she would hook it into some negative aspect, and or try and hook me into some negative conversation. So I did the thing of just uh, nodding, nodding at her, and or if she was saying something I didn't agree with, not nodding, but just sort of being neutral and sometimes even leaving the room or trying to change the topic sometimes if I felt it was appropriate. And so to offer unconditional love, unconditional love, because if someone's in a negative place, usually if you say anything, um, you know, it's just taken in the wrong way. You can never say the right thing or it's perceived in the wrong way or they're wanting something you can't really because they're in a not enough state they're in a negative state so whatever you do or say is usually perceived as wrong but just nodding one's head and um trying to stay off uh, argumentative topics for me i mean the thing on, on a deeper level the deeper work is is to um the reason i'm triggered the reason i was triggered by my mother was because i had a lot of unconscious expectations uh, and outcomes and wanted payoffs. So I mean, I wanted my mother not to criticize me, not to tell me things I didn't agree with, uh, and wanted, you know, I wanted unconditional love. And actually, I found that the way to uh, transcend that data was to offer unconditional love, which is really like transcending all the hooks and and releasing. You know, I had to re I had to say God did not create my mother; she's not real because the word mother, the label mother, had a lot of baggage and expectations and outcomes with it. You know, I couldn't see her beyond the label I'd put on her, that she was, she was a mother and she was supposed to be this way. So that always cr created me, like my, in my perception that she was always saying and doing the wrong thing. I had to transcend, um, she'd sometimes, her voice tone would really trigger me. Just the way she would say things would really trigger me. So I had to like, you know, God did not create uh, you know, God did not create, um, I had to sort of make meaningless her voice tone, I had to make meaningless her, her facial expressions. I had to also make meaningless all outcomes and expectations I had of her. However she behaved, you know, it was like that has no power to affect me, but I had to do a lot of work. God did not create, um, you know, uh, God did not create, you know, meaningful facial expressions of mothers, so they're not real. God did not create meaningful voice tone with my mother, says so God did not create a mother, so it is not real. So as I all these programs in me, which were just layering lots of things, outcomes, expectations, and perceptions from my ego level, which I I put on my mother, and all my perceived wounds, I had to let it all go, and just try to the best of my ability just to be of unconditional love. And every, I would feel like she would try and hook me into various dark topics, and I had to resist that, you know, either by nodding my head or leaving the room coming back in praying for her and it took five years and then it and then it did you know it resolved with a with a loving relationship at the end but i think you know as you let the outcomes and expectations of everything you want from a person to go and try to offer unconditional love it does you know the, the the right intuition comes on how to handle the situation so um I mean, for me, all relationships are creating pain because of wanting them to go a certain way or wanting something back in return. So if I release those, if I clear the perceptions of those, um, I mean, with uh, like I've, I've cleared my perceptions with a neighbor that was trying to, you know, I felt scare me. 
uh, and 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 um, and it, I mean that situation as I was sort of clearing the data, which upset me with his behaviour. Um, I found that you know it was almost like the universe sorted him out with mystical people sort of coming to sort of sort him out on my behalf. Um, so it's like the power of releasing the, my perception of the thing works. Um, it also offers a lot of light. But it, when I when I want something from a person to behave, to be, to, to say something differently, then um, then usually it bring brings upset to me. So I'll stop it there.